And I tell you, you can't praise him enough. You can't thank him enough for what he have done already. Praise the Lord. We do, we do thank God for being here. We thank God for your pastor and his wife for opening this door for us and letting us come down. And, you know, I know they are um, having some um, problems, uh, not really problems, but uh, they had a uh, death in the family. And we have been certainly praying for them. And, uh, and I promise him that we'll do our best to hold the fort down till he get back. Praise the Lord. And I told him, I ain't going to tear y'all up too bad. But I might crack you a little bit, you know. <laughs> so uh, we're going to try to hold the fort down till he get back. And we're going to keep, keep, keep them in prayer. That God would give them a good, safe trip home. You know, you can't take nothing for granted. We shouldn't take nothing for granted because there's an adversary out there. You believe that? Yeah. Praise the Lord. And the Bible said he's seeking whom he may devour. But through prayer and uh, uh, faith in the Lord, we believe everything's going to be all right. So we, we, we do appreciate you for opening up your heart, Brother Tim and Sister Becky. And, you know, um, the, the help. I don't, I can't really get your name, Sister Stagger. Stagger. Like you're drunk? Yeah. Okay. okay. Sister Staggered. Sister Stagger Lee. No, I'm not. But anyway, we appreciate you all for opening up your hearts and uh, receiving us, you know, because um, you, believe it or not, you know, uh, there's not too many people still hungry for, you know, truth. And uh, the few that are holding on, I believe God's going to bless you. And, it's, and, and to me, it's a privilege to be able to find somebody that is still hungering for the word. And uh, we thank you very much for that. Praise the Lord. So we do want you to pray with us and uh, continue to pray with us. You know, even after we go and pray for us and pray with us because we believe in God. I don't know what all my life consists of, but you know, God put a fire in my soul and, and I'm determined to stir as many people as I can until this revival breaks out. Something is going to break. Soon, I know people and gave up on looking forward to, for a Holy Ghost revival. A lot of folks in backslid went back, gave up on it. But the Bible said, unto you that fear my name shall the son of righteousness arise with healing in his wings. So there's a move. Hallelujah. Man, that makes me want to holler right there. There is a move. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. <laughs> Praise God. And uh, we do want you to pray with us. So let's just go to prayer right now. Lord, we thank you for your blessings. We thank you, Lord, for your goodness, your many, many wonderful works that you've shown toward the children of men. Thank you, Lord, for your salvation and your, your strength. Lord, we know we can't make it without you. So we come to you every day asking you, Lord, for mercy. Asking you, Lord, for grace to help us in these times of need. God, these are times that we need you more than we ever needed you. We've never come to the kingdom in such a time as this. So, Lord, move by searching out our hearts. Lord, each and every one, not only just us, but all of your people throughout this great nation of America. Lord, you said the foundation of God stands sure. Having this seal, the Lord know those that are his. Oh, Lord, you know where your people are. Lord, I'm asking you to stir. I'm asking you, Lord, to revive, to rekindle a flame in the hearts of all of your people. But, Lord, tonight look down on us right here. Lord, in Westminster, look down on us right here and help us. Lord, reach deep in us and stir us deep. You said the deep calls to the deep. Lord, my soul, my inner man cries out unto you. Oh, Lord, my soul reaches out unto you. I need you, Jesus.
I need you, Lord, to rekindle a flame in my heart, in my soul, deep down inside. So many of us here tonight as we're gathered here tonight, Lord God. You said in your word a bruised reed and a smoky flax you will not quench until you send forth judgment unto victory. Oh God, if there's, a, if there's smoke still in us, blow on that flame. Oh God, in Jesus' name, stir your people, Lord. Stir your people, Lord. God, this is my heart's desire. This is my request to you that you would stir young men and women all over this nation. God, that you would raise up that army that Joel talked about, Lord. That, that people that Ezekiel saw rising up in that valley of dry bones. Move today. God, in the name of Jesus, Lord, move on the behalf of Africa, Mexico, God, India, these countries, Lord, that, that don't have the opportunity to have the gospel like we do. Lord, help us, Jesus. Put a burden in my heart, Lord. Put a burden in our hearts for souls greater than we ever had before. Stir us up, Lord. Raise up some young men. Raise up some preachers. Raise up some handmaids. Raise up some servants. God, in Jesus' name, Lord, right now, strengthen Brother Terrell. Strengthen Sister Terrell. God, I, we need a leader. We need a leader in these times like Brother Terrell, Lord, and we pray for his strength. We pray, God, that you would renew his youth, that you would do something on his behalf. Oh, Jesus' name tonight. Oh, God, Lord, I pray you meet every need here. There's any unspoken request or written request, God, you grant these petitions. Lift up your hands if you have an unspoken request. Lord, you grant these petitions. Drive the devil off of your people. Rebuke this devourer. All in Jesus' name. And we'll praise you for it. We thank you. Amen. You can be seated. Praise the Lord. We do appreciate you. And um, we always.